Welcome back to my channel today. So this video is a get ready with me as you can already tell by the title and it's on my makeup and my outfit and it's also a collab with another youtuber Tony Olaoye. I don't know if you've heard of her, but she's really good She's so beautiful like you guys should go subscribe to her channel and just watch the video You know show her some love and everything and yeah, so we just came up with this like collab to do and i absolutely love the idea of this collab because it's just you know made me put on my full glam and everything so yeah if you're new here also from her channel don't forget to subscribe and like this video also and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video so first off i'm going to be starting with my brows and I'm going to be filling them in with my MAC Deep Down Fluid Line. And I'm just going to be filling in the sparse areas. I also went in with my black gel liner just to darken it. I've been liking dark brows these days. And then I'm just going to be cleaning it up with my NYX Full Coverage Concealer. Just all around the edges to make it look, you know, sharp and bright. And then blending it out. As a base, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm just applying that all over my eyelid and then blending it out just to make my eyeshadow appear brighter. And I'm using that color Strapless from my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette as my transition color just in my crease. And then also from the same palette, I'm going in with this color called Something Butter. And then I'm just applying that to my brow bone as a highlight. I'm going to link all the details and everything I use below. I'm going in with this sleek PPQ palette in me, myself and I, using that burgundy color just to deepen my crease a little bit and then blending it in. Into the same palette, I'm using this pink color, it's like a baby pink, it's very pigmented, I really love this palette. And I'm applying that all over my eyelid and then blending it into that burgundy color I just applied previously. For more depth, I'm using this Makeup Geek Corrupt eyeshadow and I'm just applying that at my outer V just to smoke out the look a little bit. And then I'm going to be blending all the colors together, going back and forth with the same colors I applied previously just to make it seamless and just blended well. And then for the final touch, I'm going to be using this glitter from eBay and I'm applying that with my eyeshadow, with my eyelash glitter glue and I'm just applying that all over my eyelid and then I'm cleaning up the fallout and just making it look neater with a baby wipe for my eyeliner I'm using the NYC liquid liner in black I have an eyeliner tutorial I'm going to link it down in the description box below so you can check that out for lashes, I'm using my Better Than Sex mascara and then I'm applying some false lashes which I just split in two and these lashes are from eBay or Amazon, I can't remember but it's really cheap and then I'm going to be lining my waterline with the MAC Graph Black Pencil just to define my waterline. As a base, my primer, I'm using that Palmer Stretch Mark Cream, it's really nice if you have oily skin. And then to color correct, I'm using this Kiko Unlimited Foundation. I just did an updated foundation routine on drugstore, so you should check that out also in the description box. I'll link that. So I'm just color correcting first. And then for foundation, I'm using the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation Cream on my face. And it's in the color Sienna. And I'm using Morphe M for I can't remember the name but I'll leave it in the description box to apply that to conceal that's to highlight I'm using the LA Pro concealer and I'm also using the NYX HD concealer just to highlight the high points of my face that's my under my eyes my forehead chin nose and just blending that out as well set everywhere I've highlighted I'm using the Benai banana powder and I'm just using a damp beauty blender to apply it I explained everything in my 
foundation routine if you guys watch that and then yeah I'm going to be also counter contouring with this same powder and yeah I don't I don't bake anymore because I just feel like baking just makes me look extra powdery so I just dusted that off quickly like with a blending brush just so I don't know it doesn't like stay too long on my skin and get like hard to blend anyway to contour I'm using the MAC Studio Fix powder in NW50 and I'm just using that to contour my nose and for my face I'm using the CoverGirl bronzer and also the Milani powder in Earth Glow just to contour my cheekbones, my forehead and the rest of my face. For blush, I'm using this blush by 3 Sleek Palettes and I'm just applying that to my cheeks. And then to blend everything out, I'm going to be using this Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in Deep. I really love this powder, you guys. And I'm just blending my whole face with that just to bring everything together. And then for highlights, I'm using this color called Grandstand. It's actually an eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. So I just love to use because it's so pigmented, I like to use it to highlight. It's like my favorite eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. I love, love, love it. Like if you're going to get a Makeup Geek eyeshadow, this should be top on your list. Yeah, and then I also went in to blend it and then I went in with this Carly Bible palette just for some extra glow. You know, you know, you guys to, you know, be looking like a lamp. Anyway, I'm going to be highlighting my inner tear duct as well and then blending that out because I wasn't really feeling how pigmented it was. So I just blended it out more just so it's not too pigmented. And then I extended my eyeliner. For, and then for my lip, I'm using the Dose of Color Dark Rose Liquid Lipstick and I'm just applying that to the outer parts of my lip first and then going back in with the NYX liquid lipstick in copper copper i'm not sure how this is pronounced but i'll link it down below but i didn't like how that looked so i went in with the sephora liquid lipstick and then i just created an ombre look and i was really feeling that and then over top i applied the jordana lip gloss i'm going to leave the name in the description box and i just applied that to my lip <laughs> To finish everything up, I used my MAC Fix Plus spray and I just took a shower in this just to bring everything together like this is a necessity in your makeup game. Anyway, for I'm going to just do some shenanigans and then we move over to the outfit part of the video. Anyway, the earrings I'm wearing are from Aldo in case anyone is wondering. The hair is from Lily Hair. I'm going to leave a link below. And yeah, the studs are from Primark. I don't know if anyone cares, but yeah. subscribe and also don't forget to go over to Tony's channel and make sure you subscribe to her and also like her video and all that and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video I hope you guys enjoy this one bye hey guys
guys welcome back to my channel today so this tutorial is just a makeup tutorial on my foundation routine highlights contour all of that and this is mainly drugstore and mainly affordable <laughs> 